Welcome back to Current Boutique Facebook Live. I'm Sam at Sam R. Lowry, and we have a very special guest with us today. Hi, guys. My name is V, also known as District V. Um, you can follow me on my Instagram, which is district.vyv, or my website, www.districtv.com. I'm super, super, super excited to be here tonight and sitting here talking to Sam. Um, so let's get this rolling. So we're going to dive right in. How did you get started blogging? What inspired this whole mega network you've got going yeah, on? Absolutely. It's a crazy story because I actually just recently started. Um, the idea came to me around the beginning of this year, so in January, um, and I launched my blog uh, February, so it's, it's now what, we're in August, so we're a little bit over half a year. Um, I, yeah, I know, right? Um, and I think I really started this because I wanted, it, um, I wanted a, a creative outlet for my style. Um, I started working at a professional job and sitting in the office all day. I didn't really get to express myself through my outfits. And I started seeing a change in my closet too. I was like, I saw a lot more duller uh, colors. Black. Yeah, black <laughs> suits. Um, just not, not cute or bright, nothing like this, okay? So I was like, you know what, I, I need um, a creative outlet. I started the blog um, and it's been absolutely it's great. Doing really well. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, was your Instagram established before you started blogging? Like, what made you want to share style on right. Instagram? Right. So, I always had a personal Instagram, and I started a whole new Instagram for yeah. Wow. So, I started with zero followers. So, thank you for everyone who's following me. I mean, I'm almost at five thousand. So, follow me again. <laughs> um, but I honestly, um, I like sharing my style because. I mean, it, it's. I like the feedback that I get. Um, just having my friends text me all the time saying, "Hey, should I wear this or this? What What do you think looks better yeah. on me?" So, um, being able to provide that advice or that um, that you know opinion for other people, uh, I love it. Um, getting so many comments, feedback, messages, um, those are the things that makes me want to continue. Definitely, and people are loving it, and you have all these comments and likes, yeah. and being a petite woman, like, mm -hmm. it's seriously, it's not easy to really dress yourself. Mm -hmm. So, we now that everyone's going to tune in and see your Instagram, how would you describe your style? I know, mm -hmm. I know that's like, everyone asks you, yeah. but <laughs> describe it, like, just some general, like... Yeah, absolutely. Um, so... We all know that fashion changes, style changes, trend changes. Yeah. So for me, I usually, I change with the style, I change with the fashion, I change with the trends. Um, so whatever is popular, I try to grab it, but always having it mold to my liking and what I'm comfortable in. Um, so the three things that I always look for is, um, I want a outfit to be timeless. Um, my sizes are, has been consistent since high school, so there's still things in my, yeah. Very lucky. And it saves me a lot of money. So um, there's things in my closet that I had since high school, and if I have those timeless pieces, um, I can wear them over and over again. Yeah. So that saves me big bucks. Um, comfortability, uh, you know, so I, it's already hard enough to find clothing that fits my frame. Um, so being able to, being comfortable in what I'm wearing is, is a big deal for me. And three is probably versatility. Um, I like to put have a piece of, you know, a dress, a shirt that if I accessorize it a certain way or if I pair it up with something else, it looks completely different. Um, so those are the three things I always look for. I love it. I feel like comfortability right now. We yeah. were just talking about it's so hot getting dressed at this point. Being five <laughs> feet tall and it's a hundred degrees outside. Like yeah. I, I applaud you. I Thank really you. do. So now that we know what you kind of, how you talk about your style, what are the secrets? Drop a few of those secrets for our five foot tall, yeah. our very petite women. Okay. Um, let them know. Yeah, so for the gals that are very short or is vertically challenged, um, <laughs> I usually like to wear things that give you an illusion that you're taller. Um, so I own so many high-waisted anything, high-waisted skirts, high-waisted um, shorts, jeans, 
anything that makes your legs look elongated is a friend of mine. Um, and wing stripes patterns do is is a big deal. Um, so wing stripes always makes your legs look a little bit longer, um, and also prints, smaller prints, smaller than your hands. Usually those um, make give you an illusion that you know it's um, that you're taller. And in addition to that, I'll probably say wing clothes that actually fit your frame. Um, yeah, there's petite ladies who are a little bit wider or skinnier or curvier. So um, finding that clothes that fit is a big deal. Um, luckily, my boyfriend uh, mom actually tailors some of my clothing. So yeah, she hems my jeans. She kind of you know makes the size a little bit smaller. So. Those small alter, um, alterations always help a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Having a good tailor, Nina Garcia said it best in her book, you need a good tailor, whether it's your mm -hmm. boyfriend's mom right. or the woman down right. the street, or even you can teach yourself how to sew on YouTube. Yeah. Being able to do a quick double hem or add a dart to something, the, it changes the fit and it makes you look so much more put together and professional mm -hmm. and you feel better when you look better. Absolutely, 100%. So talking about all of this, yes. now we're gonna get into some visuals. All of these items can be found at currentboutique.com for sale. So I'm super excited to dive in. And I know that this is like everyone's oh, favorite yes. piece we've been talking about right now, yep. is this little romper. And I love this. This dress is from Yumi Kim. Um, the print, again, is, is that, um, that style rule that we were talking about. The print is smaller than my hand, so it doesn't look like it's overpowering. Mm -hmm. The colors are absolutely amazing, and I love that this, just like, it's kind of like the outfit that I'm wearing, this whole belt situation here. It gives me that extra curve over here to make my uh, waist look a little bit smaller. And uh, being short, it definitely makes my leg look longer, or at least show it off a little bit. I mean, I got something. So <laughs> I, I love this piece. And romper season is totally in, guys, so. Oh. And I mean, if you don't know how to pair it, it's one piece. Throw it on, put on some heels, you're all set. Rompers are so hot right now, they're making rompers for men. So <laughs> get on yes. the bandwagon, guys. Yes, yes. So this Nanette Lepore, dress is so perfect for like wedding season, even like brunch with the girls. Absolutely. Tell us why you love this. I love this because it is a strapless, uh, giving my little decollete area some action. Mm -hmm. um, and no tail lines, so perfect ladies. Um, this is, I think this will probably fall like right here on my knee, so it's very nice and and you know, um, lady -like. yeah, very ladylike, sophisticated. You can definitely wear this in the office. So for the ladies who do work at the office and nine to five, throw on a blazer, you're all set to go. Um, and then once you're done, happy hour, pop it off. Take it off. <laughs> I love this print. It's so perfect for summer. Ooh. And then we're gonna go to, oh, we definitely yeah, were talking we about this Lily this Pulitzer. Oh, let me grab this. One second, guys. <laughs> Vertically challenged problems <laughs> are not only women getting dressed. Um, this one I absolutely love. Again, um, I told, I mentioned how I love um, high-waisted pants, and this is just, I mean, sorry, skirts. So this is absolutely perfect because once it hits your um, waist here, it also gives you that flare, giving it an illusion that those are your hips. Mm. So it gives you that extra shape. It looks good. You have some legs showing in the bottom. You got it. And this print right now is absolutely in. Um, and this pop of pink, totally summer. Gingham and pink just mm -hmm. go hand in hand. And I also want to mention, Current Boutique is pre-loved gems. This Lily Pulitzer still has the tag on it. Yes. So please. you are getting serious gems when you go to currentboutique.com. And lastly, we wanted to definitely talk about our favorite gal, DBF. Oh, yeah. We can't deny the magic of Diane von Furstenberg. <laughs> uh, so this, for me, I absolutely, I, I wish you guys can touch this material. Um, it's like super, super thin. It kind of feels like a, a kind of a trench coat, but like thinner. Yeah, definitely. Uh -huh. So I feel like this is, will be very, very, very mm. comfortable and super summary. Um, love the belt details here so it does give you that extra, the smaller waist that mm -hmm. you're always looking for. The little 
just a subtle ruffle uh, between the um, arm and the neck. Very, very um, ladylike features. This is a good summertime work dress to really mm -hmm. like steer away from the closet yeah, of absolutely. all black. Mm -hmm. And totally. We, Her Boutique carries so much Diane von Furstenberg, and she is such an investment. Her pieces are timeless, dating yes, back from like the 70s. So yes. she's been all 47 years mm -hmm. in the game and mm -hmm. still just out here yes. killing and, it. And we love timeless pieces. We love we things do. that we can just throw on something on top or put on another accessory and it becomes a night out dress. So love that piece. Definitely. So now that we've talked about all these amazing things and ways to dress the yes. petite body, let's go to the other side on the spectrum of what not to do. <laughs> because now that you know kind of some things to yeah. do, it's easier to know what not to do. Yeah. So lay it on us. Mm. Tell us your secrets. Mm. We want to know. So for me, I try to stay away from maxi dresses. Um, Definitely. I just can't find the perfect one. Um, it always is too long, I'm stepping on it, other people are stepping on it, and then I end up ruining the bottom of the, the dress. Um, so I feel like the straps are always yeah, too long the too. The straps are always too long. So we have here a BCBG dress. This is a maxi dress. I absolutely love this uh, just because of the color and the straps up here. It gives that extra nice detail. Um, with this piece, it is a little bit oversized, so just as long as if the upper area of the dress is a little bit definitely. tighter it would look better um, and this I would definitely get Taylor so then <laughs> I'm not tripping over call it. your Taylor yeah. or find one <laughs> Yelp is out there yeah. um, another thing that I try to steer away from is mm. probably bell-bottom jeans yeah. I know it isn't a really uh, it's really trendy right now or like really wide legged um, pants um, I try to stay away from those because it, 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 it's a lot of Attention of volume, volume. And a lot of volume. Just because it's a mm -hmm. trend doesn't mean it's for, for you. Yeah. You need to dress to your body type mm -hmm. and dress to your personality. Absolutely. Um, what are any more other like I think, no nos? I think those are like my main ones, and also like oh man, I know this trend is also very popular right now. The um, raw edge jeans which mm. usually people who wear them, it has to be above the ankle so you can see the details. It's gotta right? hit yeah. at a certain spot, definitely. Yeah. Well, guess where it hits for me? It's like right here. <laughs> like, it looks like you just yeah. walked on your jeans and exactly. just didn't care. It, it, it doesn't look right, so I mean, I would have to like fold it up and then the whole purpose of the jeans are, are ruined. So those are things I stay away from, but I absolutely love your great trends. So I, I, I wish I could join the team. She's going to like your photos of you in your raw yeah, jeans. Yeah. <laughs> so certain things you don't do, but I know that style is to each his own. Right. There are petite women rules. Mm -hmm. Which ones don't you follow? So guys, going back to well. yeah, going back to like the bell bottom jeans kind of thing. I I love it so much that I, I just can't stay away. Um, but my alternative is culotte jeans. Oh, culotte uh, pants. So uh, these are basically, this is a uh, jumper that, By are, Tracy Reese. Yeah, that are like a culotte kind of uh, style where it falls like, it's on a regular person it should like be right here where the shin, uh, middle of the shin, um, but for me it kind of goes down here, just a, a little bit high water but still it gives it, it still chic. looks good. Yeah, I still, like still that. super chic. So I can throw on a pair of heels and it still looks okay, so that that's how I would style these type of um, heels are definitely the yeah. secret for when you have more volume yeah, and longer. Absolutely. And with this, it would pair so well with like nude heels, and then it makes your feel. I mean, your legs look longer because it's it's, it's nude. It gives you that illusion. So blending in with your skin mm -hmm. tone, almost. I love all these picks. <laughs> I love them all. So now we know how to dress ourselves, we know how to not dress ourselves, and we know where to find all these amazing yes. clothes at curveboutique.com. So did your outfit really happen? Did you wear it? If you <laughs> don't put it on Instagram, you got to get those Everyone. likes. Everyone yeah. needs to know Everyone how fabulous know. you are. Yes. So you have all these secrets. Lay us lay out the secrets mm -hmm. for Instagram. How do I get that really good photo? I'm five feet tall, but I look six feet right. tall. Okay, guys, so take notes. 
take out your notebook and a pen because I got some really good ones. Really good. Um, I definitely have to shout out for like for all my photographers who literally struggle with taking my pictures. They are on their hands and knees. Like we can be in the middle of the street and they're like hands on like hands knees. They're like on their knees trying to take my picture. So usually my the camera has to be at a, a lower point to make me look taller. Um, so that definitely kudos to the photographer. Um, second thing is I like to use my hands or doing any type of poses that make me look longer. So using my other limbs that you know to give me that extra, <laughs> to give me that extra, you know, the height. Um, so that also helps. Got that like yeah. bow I'm yeah. so like yeah. she she. Yeah. So I, I also tilt my head up a little bit like I'm looking down at you because I'm so tall, but I'm really not. <laughs> So when you do things like that, it makes you look a little bit taller. Like, you know, why is she looking down at me? Maybe she is a little bit taller. So um, it also elongates my, my neck, too. So it, it helps many ways. Um, so posing is definitely um, a big deal. So practice in the mirrors, ladies. Look down. <laughs> any other style, any other photo yeah. tips? Like, um, how do you find your backgrounds? Like, because oh, I know yeah. backgrounds make a difference. Yeah. What is your secret Absolutely. for like finding that perfect like location? Right. Yeah, location is key. And I, um, I made a mistake one time. I post on top of a bicycle, which, you know how a motorcycle is. I mean, it's it's huge. like a, it's huge. It's a pretty big thing. And um, yeah. I was posing on top of it, and all the comments were like. Damn, I mean, it's either that bike is really big or this girl is really small. So I try, from now, going forward from that experience, I'm like, you know what, no more posing next to objects. Especially if people know what the, the sizes of these objects yeah. are. It's like a, it's a reference, so I, I try They're to like, yeah, yeah, definitely like, why yeah. is she the size of that yeah. tree <laughs> that's in my neighborhood? Yeah, so I, I try to stay away from that. I try to do more scenery thing out in the open, nothing where you can reference between that object and myself. Um, I do a lot of pictures on in um, in front of a wall because <laughs> no DC one know. has mm -hmm. the best yes. walls. You can have like yes. the fire sign and the no parking sign, yeah. and, like the meter. Yeah. But all you need is that beautiful, fresh yes. masonry, and mm -hmm. oh, that just it really no. and it makes the colors pop. Absolutely, and you can find literally a graffiti wall all over the city. Just if you walk down the street, U Street, walk two block. Yeah, U Street is my absolute favorite. Um, there's colorful walls everywhere and it it sometimes it brings out my outfit even more mm -hmm. which makes my photos more vibrant and yeah. um, and more unique so so you can just come on into Curve Boutique on U Street mm -hmm. get a whole outfit and then you can go do a photo <laughs> shoot yes, exactly um, exactly and it's that easy yeah we got bloggers easy guys why everyone needs to do it okay <laughs> we expect 5,000 followers by the end yeah. of the day so we have some audience mm -hmm. photo um, Audience photos, thanks for submitting them. We have some audience yeah. questions. We have these two really good ones that I kind of want to dive into. Yeah, absolutely. So it's, I feel like thinking about petite woman, oh, she probably wears heels all the time, mm -hmm. but heels hurt. Ooh, like dude. I applaud the women that can wear five inch stilettos for nine hours, like your feet must be dead. <laughs> so when you are not wearing heels, uh -huh. Like, what's your go-to flat? Right. What's the other kind of shoe that's not right. really going to make you look Right, so I, um, so like one-inch heel or two-inch heel, like the kitty heels that you can wear in the office. Like chunk oh, heels? Yeah, the chunky heels. I absolutely love them, and they're totally in style now. Um, even, it, you know, it gives me that extra little height. That, it's that it's little bit of angle. Yeah, it helps. Every little bit helps, because, I mean, I'm 4'11". Four, I'm four so just adding one or two more inch makes me a normal person. <laughs> so. Also, I feel like it's a mental thing, yeah. like the way you feel in a flat versus even a one inch or yeah, a two inch. Yeah, it gives you that extra pop when you're walking. It's like so. that. Yeah, I look down on them. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that we know clothing, we're going to talk about a little bit about accessories. Yeah. We had one audience viewer say, "What type of accessories, mm -hmm. especially like?" jewelry, mm -hmm. um, necklaces, mm -hmm. earrings, because I didn't know until I got into the style world, the shape of your earrings, the length of them, the size of your necklace, it right. all makes such a huge difference on making your neck look longer and your yeah. thin look facer. Right, right. Face look thinner, yeah. which is everyone's goals. <laughs> so give us your secrets, the yeah. petite woman accessory guide. Yes, so I try to stay away from too much chunk on my neck. I mean, first of all, it weighs me down and 
a yeah. oh, lot of yeah. space to yeah. fit in. Exactly. There's not a lot of space right here. Um, so I actually deviate all of that attention to my ears, uh, which I love big, bold earrings. Um, and you get to see my face more. So, you know, always a win. And I feel like this new, everyone knows how they're like layering the circle orbits. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Those you can are get them at current. Mm -hmm. Or tassels. Yeah, tassels. And I feel like big tassels for you give you movement, but also yeah. that like big yeah. length that yes. you need that you're like, mm -hmm. it's dusting my yeah. shoulders because my neck is yes. so long. Yes. And the, the brighter and the more bolder the colors are, it's like, it, sometimes it makes an outfit. So. Go for it. It really does. Earrings are a go-to. They're my favorite, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Catch me in the earring aisle. Yeah. So we just want to say thank you to all of the viewers. We love having you. We love your questions. And I hope that, I don't even have hope that, I know <laughs> that a ton of women took away so many style tips today. Not only is it hard to be five feet tall, yeah. you also have to dress yourself. And I'm just mm -hmm. so impressed because I try to dress myself every day and I'm like, ugh. I, I just, <laughs> hats off to you. Thank I you. I definitely, all of these items are available on currentboutique.com. Current boutique and they're amazing pre-loved gems at great prices. And I want you to shout out your information because yeah, we're going to get absolutely. you from 5,000 to 6,000 followers yes, today. Yes, yes, yes. Everyone follow me. Um, my Instagram is at district.vy. Um, so you can follow me. Just press the, you know, the, the add button. Almost at 5,000. So yes, let's keep, keep on going. Um, and also you can uh, visit my website, which is www.districtv.com where you can see all my style tips, um, all my fashion, my travels, and um, just lifestyle. And you can always shoot me an email through the website or um, DM me, Definitely. I'm totally open. I love bloggers that reply back. Oh yeah, oh, I, I, do. I totally do. I do, it <laughs> makes me feel important. <laughs> and so now you guys have all these amazing st tips. We can't wait to see what you post on Instagram. Hashtag current boutique so we can see all your amazing petite looks. Have a good night. Good night, guys. Thank you.